Welcome to the Distillation Column Control Workshop. In this workshop we have an opportunity to examine how composition control can be stabilized through the use of ratio control on a distillation column. In the first part of the exercise we'll examine how this control behaves under changing feed rates. And uh, in the second part of our exercise we'll change the composition target to see how this impacts the uh, control. Uh, for this uh, workshop, we have a complete uh, dynamic simulation of a distillation column in which the uh, feed to the column is uh, determined by an upstream unit. We can measure the flow of that, but we uh, cannot control it at this point. The uh, material entering falls to the bottom of the column, where it is then heated through an external heater and the steam to the heater is adjusted to uh, adjust the boil up. The vapor that is va comes up the column then uh, goes through a heat exchanger where it then condenses and falls into an accumulator as a liquid. The, uh, the material within the accumulator is uh, then part of it is split off in terms of the uh, uh, distillate flow, the remainder uh, is uh, returned as reflux flow to maintain a balance within the accumulator. Uh, based upon the uh, feed rate, uh, through the use of a steam feed ratio control, the uh, steam demand is being set. Also, uh, the feed rate is used after dynamic compensation as an input to the distillate to feed ratio control, which sets the uh, distillate uh, feed rate. The uh, composition of the overhead is measured, uh, the light component is measured there, and based upon that we're adjusting the uh, distillate to feed ratio. The level of the accumulator is maintained by adjusting the uh, reflux flow. Uh, the uh, pressure is very critical to maintain constant pressure. We adjust a bypass around the uh, heat exchanger. And um, the uh, level of the bottom of the column is maintained by adjusting the uh, material removed at the bottom, the bottom's flow. So let's uh, begin our exercise by going to our workspace. In the uh, workspace, we see the measured uh, inlet flow uh, in the, there. Uh, that flow then is used uh, through a ratio control to set the steam flow. Also, based upon that flow rate after dynamic compensation, we're going through a ratio control to uh, set the distillate uh, flow. The uh, set point of that ratio controller is determined by a PID that is using the composition of the light material in the overhead. The uh, other control is shown here, the column pressure control, just a single loop. The level control, which is adjusting the flow set point of the bottom's uh, flow. And then the accumulator level control uh, using a PID that's adjusting the uh, reflux flow of our of our column. So in the uh, first part of our exercise we're just going to look at how the uh, controls behave under changing conditions and the feed rate is automatically being changed uh, so that we can then examine the behavior of the controller in these changing operating conditions. So we can look at our chart and uh, then see in the uh, red, we see the uh, changing flow uh, feed rate uh, to the column, and it's being stepped up and down uh, just to uh, allow us to examine the behavior. We notice that the steam flow is changed immediately after dynamic compensation uh, f uh, based on the feed rate. Also, the um, the um, distillate flow rate is also changed to maintain a balance within the column. As a result, the uh, composition remains very stable, uh, even though we've had significant uh, feed rate changes in the column. So this really demonstrates the uh, benefit of uh, ratio control uh, on, the, um, on the column and how effective it is in terms of stabilizing the composition. 
And the uh, second part of our exercise, we're going to change the target uh, uh, set point for the composition and the overhead. Uh, so in this particular case, the uh, purity is the fraction of the uh, light uh, component. So we're going to go uh, from uh, 0.85 up to 0.9 in terms of its concentration. Uh, and as a result of that, we'll notice that the uh, controller is going to adjust the ratio of the uh, distillate to feed and to uh, drive the composition higher in terms of the light component we're actually going to cut down on the uh, distillate uh, uh, flow rate. We can better see this by examining uh, our chart. At this point where we've changed the uh, composition set point we notice a very gradual change in the uh, distillate uh, flow for a given feed rate. And so we'll see that continue to go down uh, in the column. The response is fairly slow just to the holdup due to the holdup in the column. And so it takes a while before we'll see the uh, full impact of that uh, change in terms of uh, the adjustment of the distillate feed. But over time, as we see here, uh, the uh, composition continues to increase and the uh, distillate flow is uh, very gradually reduced uh, in proportion to the uh, feed rate by the uh, ratio control. So uh, after a period of time then we see that we are uh, getting very close to and are at the uh, target set point on our composition. So this illustrates then that uh, we can very um, uh, tightly control the composition by adjusting the uh, distillate to feed ratio control. We hope that this uh, workshop has been helpful to you in understanding dis distillation control and uh, would encourage you to use this workshop to further explore the many aspects of the control that is normally provided on a uh, distillation column.